Hello everyone, welcome back to Funko PDX. Today, I'm going to be doing a video I haven't done in a long time. I'm going to show you my new pickups. I picked up a quite a few different things, and uh, I'm kind of behind, so let's get this video started. Alright, welcome back after the intro there. So, I'm going to start off with my pickups from Hot Topic. Um, I got this guy in person at the mall. He is definitely really cool. I think I'm out of box yet. I do plan on taking it out of box. This one, <sighs> I feel stupid for buying this one. This one's going to be, I'm gonna get the glare out of there. Spider-Man 2099. Patience is a big thing in the Funko world. My local box lunch had this yesterday. Three per person. They were charging $12.50 or $12.99 normal price for this pop. They weren't even charging con price. Um, I paid... $28 plus $6 in shipping, <sighs> right? And on top of that, it has damage. Now, the reason why I paid that much was because when I got this, I, I want to say last week, so two weeks ago is when I bought this, I couldn't find it anywhere below $40. Um, that was the average price, so I'm like, fuck, screw it, let's just do it. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. All right. So, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Next pop. All right. I got this from a local pickup. Woody. Pay ten dollars for him. Pretty excited about this one. I also got a eleven dollar Amazon Collector Corpse box. Um, it was, during, it was for a return. It was a exchange item. I got this guy right here. And this is actually for sale on my Whatnot. Um, the only damage he has on him is a little bit of scratch on his window. Uh, I think, if I remember right. I don't have that, or I don't think he has anything. I think he's near... Is that, is that what he has? Oh, I think I think it'll come off. I'm not 100 sure. You can kind of see it right over there, right there. But yeah, and if you haven't already, check out my whatnot. At the moment, I have a lot of Pokemon cards on there. I haven't really. Uh, I want to say I haven't had the time. I just haven't spent the time putting uh, pops on there. I have a lot of pops coming up on that. Uh, the other one that came with it would be this one right here. This one I am keeping because it is part of the Spider-Man line. Uh, I do keep and collect Spider-Man. He's my main thing I collect. Spider-Man uh, in South Park is what I collect mostly. Um, and my son and me collect the Simpson Pops, which is what you see through here. And then I also uh, collect a lot of the animation pops, uh, Marvel, um, movies. It's kind of scattered everywhere, but I like to keep it on Spider-Man. If I can get my access to a Spider-Man, I usually go after it. I usually get it. Uh, the next thing I got, we finally opened this up. I had this for a long time. We're saving it for a video, but we decided, meh. Why not? Just open it, get it off the shelf, and now we can put them somewhere else all right and then this is something new and exciting right here if you guys haven't seen this one it's currently a hot topic i would definitely go pick it up it's a really cool pop i haven't taken it out yet to look at it maybe we'll do that actually you know what? we'll do that right now let's take this one out of the box
enjoyed that little uh, close up look there. All right, so this block right here. Got a little story about this pop. I bought this off of Hot Topic website and he came broken. I was really disappointed. I had to return it. Um, I only paid like $8.79 for it. So then I had to go on to eBay and I spent $16 with shipping. So $16 total. And he came in mint condition. It's amazing how you try not to buy from flippers. You actually buy from the company and they bring it to you. It's broken. I don't understand it. All right, so our next pop. This is just one I got from the Funko shop when it first dropped. I was going to make a video for this, but I, I don't know. I don't want to open it. I, I really, really like it. I watched Chase Kingdom. If you guys haven't checked them out, link right here. Links down below. Def check him out. He, he, we, he, I agree with him. I think this is going to go up in value over time. Uh, I still haven't sold out, but... um. I really do think this is going to be a pop it's so they're going to want later on. Uh, here's the one, other ones in the line. I, I, I want to get another pop to go with it because I like each have to have two on a shelf like side by side. But I can't make it in my, my, my mind which other one I want to get. It's really annoying. The other one I got is going to be, he's in bubble wrap, I'm gonna, I'll take him out. No, you guys all seen him. Zombie Moon Knight. Uh, I got this originally to do a video with. Um, I got lazy and didn't do a video. And now he's he's been out for a while. Uh, I, I was hoping to trade with Tech, Mr. Techbot. Another guy I like to watch. If you haven't checked right there, I'll link down below. Um, I wanted to do a trade with him, but we didn't work out a deal. So now I'm just kind of stuck with two of them. Uh, I'm gonna put one of them maybe on my local offer up or Facebook for uh, 30 bucks and just try to get the money back that I spent. Maybe put them to 40. Just try to get my money back and just have an extra one. All right, so next. This one right here. We got the little booty cap. Now, this is kind of a dumb one because it, you can't see anywhere except for right here. Let's take them out of box, take a look at them right now. I was overlooking these and I don't know why I didn't have these protectors but these are from my, my storage I brought them home so they're technically new again but uh, if you can check that video out definitely uh, check it out it's pretty cool I um, I brought home these two which if you look at the bottom of these these are old like Look at the glare going on there. Yeah, and like both of them. And it's also cool because they even have like the comic books price tag on them. Like you, you see people that have collections of these older pops that have like the price tag on them. This one is from four thirteen thirteen. That's pretty crazy. Today's four eight twenty one. Huh. And then if you look at the bottom of this. It's July. It's what? I think that means. January 26, 2013. On a little tag there. Not 100 percent sure. Comment down below if you know what that means. Um, I got these from a Kai, what was it? A retro game um, 
retro game like flea market. I went there to the pops. Uh, there was pop dealers there. I wish I would have recorded. I w it's back before I did YouTube. Uh, I, I should have taken, I don't know, I never took pictures or never took videos or never even thought of it. I wish I would have. Um, but yeah, she was selling, a guy was selling these. I got this one and then this, um, this one. And then I got a, I don't remember the other ones. I'll show you a picture right now ones I got but yeah these are all five dollars each I was just like oh my god I was just so, so excited and I don't I didn't want to buy this one I did not I don't buy either of these and he's just he gave me this one and just like here take it take it take it and uh I just took it and then he had a bunch of Game of Thrones and I'm trying to remember what else was in that box but I'm pretty sure what was it grumpy I don't know. One of them was like a $70 pop back then. So let's get past this point. Next one we got. Bam, right here. Ric Flair. Awesome. Awesome pop. Uh, I don't have a Ric Flair pop. Um, do I like him as a wrestler? Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's a, I don't know. He's from my childhood. He's, he's pretty cool. Then look at this guy. Glow in the dark, Miles Morales. Next one we're gonna have. It's a pretty cool one. The Falcon. And then we also have the Winter Soldier. I made the mistake of not ordering this one. Um, I thought I had it in the cart, but for, I, I don't know. He just didn't get it in there. And I uh, will definitely be doing it the next time. These things came mint. Like, I don't really see anything wrong with either of these. And these came both in protectors, which is pretty crazy. They both came in a nice box. All right, so these next ones I got, uh, you've seen it, you just seen actually in the video right before this one. Uh, I'm just going to show them off again. And I love these. This is just amazing. As you guys remember, if you saw it, US Agent um, paid $70 for these pops. Do the math that would be i think like 17 something a piece uh he's got some slight damage done to him um i'm thinking you know let's take a risk on this let's see let's see if we can take a risk on this one um but the show you know he's bound to go up in value i mean he's already going up to like 40 bucks um the only thing that's wrong with him or wrong with this i'm not sure you guys can see it or not but there's some slight paint right there like paint damage and i tried rubbing it off with an eraser i need i, I could obviously just wipe that off and I, inside the box um i'm not sure you guys can see it or not it's, it's really cool is that the, that seal comes off right there actually you can pull it off without them but uh Pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I I don't think he's fake. I, I noticed that some of them have a sticker, some of them don't. Uh, I'm not sure if maybe this was purchased at the con. I don't know. Now this person has a lot of a lot of con. Like this sticker so i don't know if he's from down there or what i think he had like six or seven of them and he keeps posting more and more of them i haven't uh, kept up and docked him anymore we also got wolverine here now this one's mint he's got nothing wrong with him at all he's really really cool only thing uh, is i don't know the, the bottoms of these things are just it's weird how they're all different you guys can see that how they're just i don't know <coughs> Unless, you know, no, it's got print on there. That one's got a sticker on there. I don't know. And another one is that, that I got from him. This one, I was like, ooh, it's already worth $45. I mean, it, it's maybe even more. He's got no issues at all. This one's really, really nice. I'm going to save this one uh, until the show comes out. Um, See if he, he should go up in value before then. 
but yeah, this Moonlight's really, really nice. I really like this. I wish it was the glow-in-the-dark. I really, really do. But, you know, it's still a real, really good value for what I paid for these. Um, a little bit of damage on this one, which is not a deal breaker. It's still a piece. This is a grill. It's going to be a grill to somebody. Um, it's funny, though, because I used to see this on the shelf all the time. Like, every time I saw both of these on the shelf, actually. And nobody wanted them. Now all of a sudden it's like, all right, let's get into the next part of the video. I'm kind of excited about this. Now, my dad gave me a collection eight years ago. He found it somewhere. I think, I think he uh, somebody actually threw it in a recycle bin, believe it or not. Um, they filled a recycle bin completely filled of comic, full of comics. And he took out, uh, he said it was three boxes worth that he could carry. And uh, that's what he brought home. They are Marvel, DC, um, some Image. There's random like Disney, uh, a lot, a lot of Marvel. Um, there's like Avengers, Spider-Man, The Thing, Galactus. Uh, Hulk, uh, Ghost Rider, pretty much everything. Iron Man, Thor, uh, Doctor Strange. But right here, I'm going to show you guys a little sample of a video that I'm going to be making. Actually, I'm going to be making, it's going to be multiple videos I have multiple one thing I really like about these comics might be silly but I like the advertisements I think they're just, they're just awesome especially when they have ones that are like from my childhood like the little handheld games or like certain card games you know, I mean, it's just awesome. But these comics are really, really cool. And they've been in a box. I mean, they haven't left. I put them in a box, and they haven't left the box in eight years. So it's just a coincidence that they're now gone up in value. And such a... But, you know, these covers are awesome. I'm surprised that Disney doesn't cash out on these covers. Like this one right here. Dude, this would make an awesome t-shirt. Really cool t-shirt. This really, really would. If I remember right, he's coming to Marvel. <clears throat> I wonder... Now, a lot of these are not in super good condition, so I don't know if they're gradable. I don't think they are. But, uh, like this right here. This is so cool. Really, really like this. This would be an awesome poster. I think this is an actual poster, if I remember right. cool background there right here this would be an awesome poster spider-man on there we got rhino running through and i think that's uh what's her name wasp such an awesome cover right there oh look at this this is cool too return of the jedi <laughs> Parker Brothers Atari 2600 Alright, here's a cool one There's actually two on this one Classic X-Men Okay That was My teaser Actually it's a lot more than a teaser But I have a whole box of comics. I probably have um, 
in total several hundred different comics to uh, share off with you guys. I mean, I just have a whole box full down here. This is just a little stack, and I didn't even show you guys anything. So definitely stay tuned for those videos. There's probably going to be 10 different ones. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do them, but um, they're definitely coming soon. So definitely, definitely, definitely hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay tuned for those. Um, thanks for watching. Enjoy your night. Enjoy your day. See you next time.